to the, uh, the deep muscles of the back. Okay, you remember we had three columns. All right, so it's, these muscles are huge in this cat, all right. On the upper part of the back here um, is called the, this is the spinalis dorsi. This is part of the spinalis column. And it's under the spinal trapezius. It's roughly underneath the spinal trapezius. The huge column, I mean, this is much bigger than most cats, but this huge muscle here is the longissimus dorsi. So it runs down the length of the back. Don't confuse the longissimus dorsi with the latissimus dorsi. Right, I forgot to mention that before. This huge muscle here that covers the side of the back, the width of the back, all of this is latissimus dorsi, right, because it's on the width of the back. This is the latissimus dorsi. This is the longissimus dorsi. It runs down the length of the back, and it looks like it splits into three cables, three parts. That's actually one muscle. Okay. And medial to the longissimus dorsi is the multifidus spinae, right? It's part of what's called the transversospinalis group. So you have the multifidus spinae, spinae medial to the longissimus dorsi right on the vertebrae. And if you remember here, there are two flaps of muscle here called the serratus dorsalis. And the column furthest from the, from the vertebrae here is called the iliocostalis. So if you remember, we had S-L-I-M. We have the spinalis dorsi, representing the spinalis group, the longissimus dorsi, representing the, uh, the middle column, and the iliocostalis, representing the column furthest from the spine, and then the multifidus spinae right on the spine. So you go S-L-I-M, slim. Remember that? Okay, and those are the, the muscles of the back, the deep muscles of the back. Okay, then we came to the thoracic muscles, I believe, were next. I don't know if this cat has all of them. Let's see. Actually, it's pretty good for those. All right. So there were four strips of muscle, right, on the upper back, uh, on the pectoral muscles. You have the pectoantibrachialis, one, pectoralis major, number two, pectoralis minor, number three, and you can see there's a split here. And then the fourth strip of muscle here that's going from the xiphoid process of the sternum to the humerus, that's called the xiphi humeralis. So the first, there are four strips of pectoral muscle, right, on the chest. One is the pector, pectoantibrachialis, two is the pectoralis major, three is the pectoralis minor, which is actually larger than the pectoralis major in the cat, and number four is the xiphi humeralis. So you go one, two, three, four. Okay, and I would probably put pins in all four on the practical. Even if I asked you two, I'd put pins in all four so you could get a you know clear view of it. Okay, all right, and uh, those are the four. And then I think we did the deep pectoral muscles, if I remember correctly. I don't know if this one. Let me see if this side is better. Maybe.